Hey there future doctors, ever wondered what actually triggers a heart attack? Well buckle up because today's video is all about uncovering the possible causes of heart attacks. Understanding these triggers not only helps in treating patients but could also save lives. Let's dive in. First up we have or CAD. This is the most common cause of heart attacks. Essentially, it's a condition where the coronary arteries, the major blood vessels that supply your heart with blood, oxygen, and nutrients become damaged or diseased, often due to plaque buildup. Think of it like a clogged pipe. When the blood flow is severely reduced or blocked, it can lead to a heart attack. Next on the list is, constant high pressure can damage the coronary arteries, leading to the same kind of plaque buildup we see in CAD. Over time, this increases your risk of having a heart attack. Don't forget about Cholesterol is a fatty substance found in your blood. While your body needs cholesterol to build healthy cells, too much of it can lead to plaque formation in the arteries. This narrows the pathways and restricts blood flow. Another major player is, people with diabetes are at higher risk of developing heart disease and consequently, heart attacks. High blood sugar can damage blood vessels and the nerves that control your heart. Now let's talk about, it's not just bad for your lungs, it's terrible for your heart too. The chemicals in tobacco can damage your blood vessels leading to atherosclerosis, a condition where the arteries harden and narrow. This makes it easier for a heart attack to occur, and are also significant factors. Carrying extra weight puts additional strain on your heart, increases blood pressure, and raises cholesterol levels. A sedentary lifestyle can exacerbate these issues, making you more prone to heart attacks. And don't overlook. Chronic stress can spike your blood pressure, and may contribute to artery damage. Plus, people under stress might adopt unhealthy coping mechanisms like smoking or overeating, which further elevate the risk. Lastly there's, if heart disease runs in your family, you might be at a higher risk. While you can't change your genetics, being aware can help you take preventive measures. So, there you have it. Coronary artery disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, smoking, obesity, lack of physical activity, stress, and family history. These are the heavy hitters when it comes to triggering heart attacks. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know, the better you can prepare and prevent. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more medical insights. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.